Wright here this afternoon, 4.07 in the afternoon, and we're back to interviews and excitement and fun, and it is particularly exciting when she didn't bring the lottery van, and she brings me the big check, and I go, wow, I won! <laughs> Thank you so much, Julie Huffman. How you doing this afternoon? Doing good. It's nice to be here in Greenwood. It is it's nice. It's nice to see what stuff you have in your store. It always changes. <laughs> it I love does. looking at it. Yeah, it's... An eclectic mixture of wonderful I things. I like it. Thank I like you. it. Yeah. So, uh, how you been doing? Doing really well. It's been a busy year, and I can't believe it's on. It's been over a year since the last time I've been here. I know. But it's nice. Got through the winter okay. Got through these recent rainstorms. Has it been as rainy here uh, as it's yes. been in Columbia? Yes. Oh, I'm sick of it. I am too. It's nice to see the sun at least mm -hmm. for a few days. I think we're talking about rain on Saturday. I know. I saw that. <laughs> Uh, nature needs it, I guess. Yes. Well, at least we're not California. Yes. Oh, know? my gosh. I was watching something on that this morning. And my parents, they just kept, got back from a vacation with some friends in San Francisco, and they have, they put pots in the shower to catch the water when the water is warming up in the shower. Oh, my gosh. So it gosh. doesn't go down the drain. Wow. Yeah. So already, if you're thinking about going to California for a vacation, you better uh, think that you're going to see extreme measures then. Mm -hmm. and, and I saw this morning 70% of the nation's walnuts come from California, and that's going to be cut back sure. due to the drought. Yeah. If you're a walnut lover, well, that stinks. Uh, it does. Well, there's going to be a lot of things, a mm -hmm. lot of things yeah, that come out of California. So from that standpoint, not only that, they, I saw an article about how they are... Um, what will they do in Hollywood? Oh. How will the Beverly Hills, how will they... so lush and green. How are they going to cut back? How are they going to, or are they going to... You know, we were talking on my show, this morning's mm -hmm. show, about they'd probably truck in the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Or fly it in mm -hmm. or something like that. I, I, I lived in L.A. for like a summer in college, and it's beautiful with the way that they water, but right. when there's not any water, there's nothing there. Exactly. So I, I understand that they're uh, speeding up their salt water, con con uh, converting mm -hmm. it to uh, regular water. I didn't know they did that out there. Yeah, but oh. they're speeding up the process now, mm -hmm. whether it'll be in time. But then I'd have to worry, well, California probably would use up all the waters out of the ocean then. Then we'd have desert oceans. <laughs> That wouldn't be good. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. So, uh, anyways, that's uh, that's out there. But we're right here in South Carolina. Julie Huffman, she is the beneficiary communications coordinator for the South Carolina Education Lottery. Wow, that's a title. That's nice and long, isn't it? But yes. That's what I do. I tell people where the money goes and help out. I also am one of the talent that draws the numbers every now and again. I draw the numbers for Pick Three, Pick Four, and Pimento Cash Five uh, next Friday. This coming Friday night. That's right. So if you want to see Julie, she's the really cute one with all her kinky hair up there. It looks really good. <laughs> Thank uh, it's you. It's a good look for you. Yeah, a few people tell me they have to put on the widescreen when my hair is on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, all the more to see, my dear. <laughs> well, that's great. That's great. So um, how is the money flowing at the uh, lottery? Uh, the lottery's doing really well. Um, last year, it was our best year ever in sales, transfers to education. Our retailers earned the most amount, and our players walked away with the most money ever in prizes. The people won $811 million in prizes. We transferred $323 million to education. Our retailers, they're the ones that do all the hard work after all, they earned $89 million. And overall, it was $1.26 billion in sales. Wow. Mm -hmm. We wow, had wow, some wow. good high jackpots, and that's what really increases sales because people go out there when it's over $200 million now. And we have really good instant tickets that are doing well and increased promotions with them. So you've decided that instant gratification is a good thing for the public. That's what people that's like. That's yeah. our most popular product are the scratch-off tickets because it's just it's just nice to sit there and be able to do it. I can't play. No, right. no the lottery people can play. But it's, it's just to know when and if you're going to get that money. Yeah, exactly. Now, when you go to other states that have lotteries, do mm -hmm. you play the lottery? Yes, I do. Um, I'm not... Really, personally, I'm not a very big gambler. I went to Las Vegas with my mom a couple years ago, and we didn't play one game. Okay. But, um, I, I've played the North Carolina Lottery a few times and the Florida Lottery a few times. I was up in Michigan recently, and I didn't, but I, I looked to see what games they have. 
Like I know in Michigan they have Kino, and I was sitting there and watching the screens on that, and it didn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Well, Kino is the same thing. They have that in Las Vegas. They I've do. watched the Kino mm -hmm. players and everything. I've never understood it. Just, and the gals walk around. Yeah, yeah, they do. They, they walk around. It's just ugh. Exactly. But you have some news here today. If somebody yes. doesn't claim their yes. ticket by midnight tonight, what happens? We Well, we have a $1 million Powerball jackpot that was not sold in Greenwood. It was sold in Florence, right off the highway. Um, and it is worth $1 million. It was sold uh, from the Phoenix Mart on David McLeod Boulevard. And it needs to be... People need to go to Columbia and claim that sucker, sign it too. The last time we had a ticket this big that was unclaimed was five years ago, and it was only worth eight, only. <laughs> it was only worth $825,000, and it was a Mega Match 6 ticket, and we don't have that game anymore, but that ticket was sold in Belton. And if this ticket goes unclaimed, don't worry, somebody still wins, education's gonna win. And unclaimed monies in South Carolina, they get transferred as well to the education lottery account by the General Assembly and the unclaimed prize money usually goes to fund things like your county libraries, school bus purchases, or deodas to help treat gambling. Okay. All right. So um, a million dollars. A million dollars. So check your ticket. Let me see. It was sold in October. October. Mm -hmm. And today's the deadline. Today is the day. And we've been trying to get the word out as much as possible. So please check your tickets. Yeah. If you happen to be in Florence, anytime. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> anytime. You might be mistaken and it wasn't December, it was October when you were there. <laughs> and it's easy to do because, you know, it's a little tiny piece of paper. You can put it in your pocket and then wash your jeans or just throw it away after thinking it's trash in the truck. But, you know, if a you million have it, dollars. It. A million dollars. So uh, that'll be unclaimed and we'll go into the from the General Assembly will go into uh, the education lottery account and players have 180 days after the draw date of pick three, pick four, Pimento Cash Five, Lucky for Life, Mega Millions, and Powerball to claim your prize. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you you and I were talking off the air. It might have been somebody that was just traveling through. Mm -hmm. Since it's right off the interstate, you could have been traveling through, not paying attention really, picked up some gas, thought you'd get a ticket on a Wednesday or Saturday night. So check your ticket. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is awesome stuff. It is. I mean, it's a win-win. It would be nice if the person won their money. Mm -hmm. It would. We but have. but it's a win for the for education. education. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it, in, in other states, it doesn't always go to benefit education. Sometimes it goes just thrown in unclaimed. It just goes into the general fund or that lottery. Oh, might, yeah. that's a bad thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, or that lottery might keep it for promotions or something like that. But in South Carolina, all unclaimed prize money goes to benefit our students. Wow. That is terrific. And of course, that's what the South Carolina Education Lottery is all about. Hey, let's hear a quick word from our sponsor. So we'll be right back. Oh, that's right. We're right back here, Sharp Facets Gallery. Yes, I'm Ann Eller. Yes, I'm here with a very special friend. We've known Julie for several years, yeah. and she comes up and shares information with us, and she's never brought me any cash, though. I just don't <laughs> understand. I do. <laughs> I remember the time y'all drove up here in the uh, education lottery van and you parked out front. The Lottery Express, it's still trucking around, but we don't use it as much. It's like over 300... 300,000 miles on that thing now. But you brought it up here and everybody goes, did Ann win? Did Ann win? <laughs> Remember that? That was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there have been a lot, of, a lot of fun things over the years. But we had a call in. You know, we were talking about when we first came on, being out there in California and how your parents mm -hmm. were out there yep. and using a, they had little basins at the bottom of the shower to catch the water before they even started the shower. Well, we just had a guy call in. Bill called in and said the Marriott Hotels are giving, uh, they have pulse showers and they're timed for four minutes. You That's get a four-minute shower and then you have to wait eight minutes to get another four minutes. That's insane. Talk but about... You've, you've got to do it. Yeah, that, you got to do what you got to do. That would be a quick shower. <laughs> just get that is scrub and get out. <laughs> That's not my idea of a shower. No. I'm going to have to be... Uh, you know, I bet saunas become real popular out there. Yes, <laughs> just rest in the steam. Exactly. Ooh. Ooh. But uh, 
Anyways, that's uh, what they're dealing with. You, of course, were talking about, uh, gosh, how would you sh- do your hair and wash your yes, body and I everything know, four minutes? four minutes. Ugh. Or how would you bathe your kids? Because, you Is know, it? I guess kids take a long time because they squirm around. And... Right. Yes, you'd, uh, I wonder if they're doing, if baths are becoming more popular. Or your dog. I mean, it takes me forever to wash my dog. Well, Gracie would love Gracie. it. Gracie loves it because she hates to take yeah. a shower or a bath or whatever. So, uh, I can't take one, Mom, because there's no water. Yeah, there's no water thing. <laughs> Too bad. But, uh, yeah, you just don't think of all the little things. Mm-hmm. You think about bottled water. You think about, but. You know, it's just like the toilets. All yeah. these things are really going to be a problem for them out there. So I expect that when people start thinking about going on vacation, mm-hmm. you know, California used to be a big draw. I wonder uh, what's going to happen now. When I you mean, hear that you only have four minutes to take a shower in your hotel. Right. This is a really interesting discussion time for this, too, because it's Earth Day. It is Earth Day. Yeah. You're right. Yes. Uh, just <laughs> Popped into your brain. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, gosh, I, I am sure glad that we live in mm-hmm. South Carolina. Me too. Me too. Yeah, having been up in Washington, D.C. and uh, being there with the concrete everything, I mean, they do have yes. nice green space, but mm-hmm. still, um, then you come home here to South Carolina and you really appreciate what you, you have. You really do. When you get come back to South Carolina, you see nature. Yeah, everywhere, mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah, makes a difference. So, we've got the lottery going on. We've got one person out there that could win a million dollars if they make it to the claims office by 5 o'clock. By 5 o'clock. So, (laughs) they don't have much time. And you can't call it in either, can you? No, you can't. You have to come in person and sign the back of that ticket and let us check you out. You'll get your check if you get there in time. But otherwise, sorry. We've been sending out information about this for a few weeks. So, hopefully it happens. And maybe it's all, maybe I maybe they you don't even it know. Yeah. on my way here. That's right. You might not even know. It nope. might have already been claimed. <laughs> but a million dollars either way, whether it goes to the person or goes into the education lottery fund. Now, you know, one of the things that I wanted to talk about was, you know, uh, President Obama wanted to start doing uh, free community colleges. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know, when we think about what South Carolina has with the lottery scholarships and and programs right. that they have. We're pretty much at that for the technical schools. Now, mm-hmm. not for the four-year schools, but for the technical schools. Right. Uh, the lottery-funded scholarships, We our funds go to support six different scholarships. The Palmetto Fellows, which is the scholarship you get the most money for, Life, Hope, the Needs Based Grant, Lottery Tuition Assistance, and the National Guard College Tuition Assistance Program. Now, Lottery Tuition Assistance is unique because you can be a full or part-time student to go to a technical college in the state to receive support, and you get up some money for a book allowance. Um, For Piedmont Tech, specifically here in Greenwood, they've gotten over 43,000 scholarships. Mm 43,000 scholarships. No wonder they actually have uh, instant admissions, like you can go in one day and get admitted, and one of the things they do, yeah, they'll help you with scholarships and everything. Yeah, they do instant admissions, like one day, take your tests, qualify for scholarships, mm-hmm. the whole nine yards, yep. That's great, and those technical schools, they're the ones that teach people how to get jobs. Right. You know, they're, they're, it's a great program. And on another note, Lander here in Greenwood, they've gotten over 16,000 scholarships. Well, but still, yeah. Piedmont Tech, 43,000, mm-hmm. that's a that's huge great. amount. That's huge. That is a huge amount. And of course, I think a lot of people don't realize, um, Julie, that you don't have to be just out of high school, uh, first time right. going to college person. To receive lottery tuition assistance, yes. You can be right out of high school or you can be someone midlife point where you want to start a new career or something like that. I've interviewed families before where the two children have a life scholarship and both parents have lottery tuition assistance. They were going to Greenville Tech and I mm-hmm. interviewed them a few years ago, but I thought that was really interesting that every single member of this family would have some form of lottery scholarship. Now, if you've claimed lottery scholarships when you're in your 20s, can you get them again when you're 50? I think it's a one-time deal. One-time, mm-hmm. okay. Because then you just be, some people might just circle in and out. <laughs> they might be staying there a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like school. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> the lottery pays for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you claimed it when you were in your 20s, mm-hmm. you wouldn't be that's able your, to use it. To right use it right Mm -hmm. but if you've never used it because we really just started the lottery how long has the lottery been in existence we're in our 13th year now we started in 2002 
Oh, okay. So there's a lot of people out there that would have never used lottery because right. they graduated long before. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Like, it, I graduated college right before the lottery started, so... If you ever wanted to go back... Darn, yeah, well, yes, if, if I, I wanted to go, go back to school, I could. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be... Uh, that would be pretty awesome. You know, tech schools certainly are coming on very very much more bigger and stronger, mm -hmm. aren't they? They are, and they also have that new bridge program where you can start at the technical school and then go on and finish your degree at a four-year college. So that's making mm -hmm. a big difference, too. I know my cousin, is. Uh, she's attending Midlands Tech, and then we'll go on to USC, and I think she's getting a degree in art psychology. Oh, mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah. So these are the things that can happen, and I think uh, anybody that uh, has never had the opportunity to take advantage of the scholarships through the through the lottery, what do you have to do to be able to get to take advantage of them? You have, there, each scholarship has different requirements. It might vary on grade point average or student ranking. You can go to the Commission on Higher Education's website, which is chhe.sc.gov. Oh, and nice they, short name. Yeah, I know. The <laughs> government likes long names. Um, but, uh, and they'll have all the requirements. In fact, they're the agency that will administer and award the scholarships. The lottery, we just provide the funding. Um, so they will have everything that you will need to know. Also, if you want additional information, you can contact the, the um, financial aid office at the college or university that you're interested in. Yeah. I know Piedmont Tech, which is probably why they have 43,000, yeah, yeah. is very active in helping mm -hmm. uh, people get those scholarships. Correct. And it, uh, you do have to fill out the federal form for student aid, which is called the FAFSA. Right. That's, I think, your first step. Sure. So if you need some help, either go online and look at, what's the name of that website again? chhe.sc.gov. Okay. Just a lot of initials, folks. There you go. Mission on higher education, and they're very helpful. Very helpful. All right. And then, of course, if you uh, are interested and you're going out there to Tech or to Lander, mm -hmm. check with them about getting educational assistance. I don't think anybody in today's world should really uh, have a problem in getting the education that they need to succeed, particularly here in South Carolina. We have so mm -hmm. many good ways. Right. And if you're in high school, focus on your studies and focus on your grades so that you can get the most financial support you can when you get out because you, you want it. It's student debt stinks. It does. It does. Mm -hmm. And of course, these are monies. They uh, You don't have to pay these back, do you? No. 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 See? There's no payback on nope. these. Yes. It's just to help you out. That's right. And what a good thing uh, to have started the lottery back uh, 13 years ago. And it was a fight when it started. Yeah, it was. And in fact, even when I started with the lottery about eight years ago now, it was still people were, still had their doubts in it, you know, it was gambling. But over the years, people have seen that you get, it really does benefit the state for education. They've had kids go to school with the scholarship. Their neighbors have. Their kids have ridden on buses purchased with lottery funds. And they see the positive impact that it makes. Because the lottery money that we, the money the lottery provides, it is just an added benefit to the state. It doesn't take place of the money that's created for education through the general fund. It's an added benefit. Sure. It's mm -hmm. extra. Mm -hmm. It's extra. And, you know, when we think about the school buses and everything, what a big bonus for those. Right. Uh, since the lottery started, over 840 school buses have been purchased. 840 lottery. school yeah, buses. 800. And also, it's interesting to know that lottery, lottery money helped the state school bus system out during Katrina. When they couldn't get gas, and our gas was very expensive, it helped purchase that money. Wow, 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 yes. wow, wow, wow. All right, well, it's time for South Carolina Radio News. You keep it right here. We'll be right back. Um, are you a pirate or a pack rat? Do you have a vacation of a lifetime sitting in the attic? Or a college tuition hung on a wall? Or is a fabulous retirement hidden in your jewelry box? Bring those items to Sharp Facets Gallery. We can establish value and buy from you or sell for you. And so ends another chapter at Sharp Facets Gallery. 72 Bypass and on the web, sharpfacets.com. Oh, that's right. We're right here. I'm Ann Eller here with Julie Huffman with the... Uh, South Carolina Education Lottery. She is the Beneficiary Communications Coordinator with the South Carolina Education Lottery. That is me. Yes, that is. And always a delight to be able to sit down and talk to you and talk about some of the things going on. 
Now, what are some of the uh, programs? Usually in the summer, you always have some big promotion or something. What's happening this right. year? Right. Well, um, we don't have one big summer promotion anymore. We have promotions throughout the year. And currently, our big promotion is, well, we have two. Our One is called Chucks and Bucks. And that's an instant ticket. You can go into the stores and see it. And you can buy the ticket and scratch it off. And on the ticket, you could win up to $100,000. Now, I know, that's nice. How uh, much does that ticket cost? Uh, that's a, a $5 ticket. Five, $5. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then if you don't win, you can enter that ticket into a second chance drawing to choose one of three trucks. You can choose a Ford F-150 XLT Super Cab. This all means nothing to me. Right. You're not a truck person. Anything about yet. trucks or cars, you don't want to see the car I drive. <laughs> um, are a Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Double Cab LS. These all sound really big. <laughs> and our, the third truck is a Doug Ram, Dodge. a Dodge, Doug, what? A Dodge Ram 1500 SLT Quad Cab. Okay. They're all nice trucks. And the drawing for that will be 30 days after the last day to sell the Trucks and Bucks ticket. And that'll be whenever all the top prizes are gone. We take the tickets off the market. Okay. All right. But you can turn it in now. Uh, yes, yes, you can. Man. You need to go to sclottery.com. That's mm -hmm. our Players Club website. and you need to Players come. Club. Yeah. Can you get uh, nice accessories like T-shirts and hats and everything? You, you might win them. But, oh, um, okay. You can't you buy them. Yeah, them. no, okay. you can't. Uh, but you join Players Club, and that will allow you to enter into all of our second chance drawings. Our other big one that's going on, and it launched a few months ago, is called Instant Replay. Now, with that, you can enter your non-winning, or your $1 and $2 instant tickets into instant replay and that gives you a chance to win points and prizes every month and the points can be used to um, get yourself some nice uh, prizes like tools movies hats and things that's where you can get your hat okay all right and um the grand prize drawing at the end of this promotion will be for a hundred thousand dollars but each month we draw for a prize of twenty thousand dollars along with some other smaller Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, you you get the op you get points right, and you points can accumulate points. points is that right? right? Mm -hmm. You get your there's a drawing for points. You don't automatically get oh, them. Oh, okay. But um, when you enter, you get into a drawing for some points, and then you can redeem those for wonderful prizes. But um, that's for wonderful, your, prizes. wonderful prizes, <laughs> and that's for your one dollar and two dollar instant tickets. Okay. And that also you need to go to sclottery.com and sign up for Players Club to enter. I guess if you spend some time on sclottery.com, you'd find out a lot of good stuff, yep, right? Yeah, you can. And when we have other promotions coming up, you'll find out the information there. You can also go there and find information. Since it's Earth Day for Clean Sweep, which is our drawing for to get litter off the street. That's We don't want people tossing out their coupons, their cards, you know, their, their lottery tickets onto the street. And you can enter in every month, and people are drawn to win $50. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, there are a lot of good things. Now, you know, we were talking about some of the other states, how they are more, um, not quite as conservative as yes, South Carolina yeah, is. The, the lottery in South Carolina is very conservative. You know, we, we're doing well, our sales are good, our people are winning a lot of money. But um, in South Carolina, we want to be responsible, be a responsible lottery. Nationally, the most popular ticket people purchase is a $20 instant ticket. In South Carolina, the highest price point is a $10 instant ticket. Um, a lot of states have vending machines where you can purchase lottery tickets mm -hmm. and not have to see an actual person. We don't have those in South Carolina. And also, we don't have Keno, like we spoke earlier about. There's no Keno in South Carolina. Even though we've had some people say that they'd like that, we don't have that at this time. And why is it that you don't have some of these vending machines and whatnot? Uh, we don't want to have to be aggressive. Um, our sales are good. There's product out there for people to buy, but we want them to always please just you know be responsible to playing, and it's just a game. We don't want them to spend over amounts of money on it. What do you mean it's just a game? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I can win big. <laughs> and, and when you start feeling like that, when it gets to be more than a game to you, or you notice a family member or a friend, it's just too much of a game for them, you can call the South Carolina Department of Alcohol and Other Drug Abuse Services hotline, 
and that's 877-452-5155, and they can help you out on where to go to get some help. Sure. Or you can visit PlayResponsiblySC.com. Sure. And, and you know, it, it is it is a shame, but some people do get addicted to, to playing. Yes, they do. And, and, I mean, you can get addicted to anything. You can get addicted to eating too many french fries or, you know, going and shopping at Sephora, which I might have a problem with. That's a makeup store. But, um, yeah, with the lottery, it's, you know, it's serious business. It, when it gets to be more than just a game to spend your spare change on, you need to seek help. For it, whether it's you or a loved one or a friend. I heard somebody, I was standing in a line the other night waiting to check out, and I heard the checkout girl was talking about how addicted she was to Mountain Dew. Yes! <laughs> I used to be like that, but I've switched over to Mellow Yellow. It's much better. Okay. If she's out okay. there, try Mellow Yellow Zero. It is delicious. And and it's not as addictive? No, it's still addictive. But <laughs> Better tasting. Okay. I have only I've gotten down to two cans a day, so I was more than that, but I was getting nervous. Right. Well, she said that uh, how she was handling this addiction, she was taking caffeine pills. Uh, <laughs> that's not a solution. Oh my gosh. But that's what she said. There's caffeine-free Mountain Dew. You can find it. Well, she doesn't know what she would do. <laughs> oh and then gosh. I heard the other thing that is absolutely bomb. These are not things that I drink or partake mm -hmm. of. Is a uh, the cheddar cheese biscuits are totally addictive. Are those what, that have the little a squares? Or, no, the little square. Aren't, what are they called? The cheese. The little square. Cheese its crackers. Yeah, yes. They my my nephew about. loves those. Yeah. He eats them. I, I've never been a big fan, but I can see how they would be addictive. Right. So, and when she talked about that, she was talking about the combination of those cheese its or and, the Mountain, and, and the Mountain Dew. Oh. <laughs> So addiction can happen to anyone at any time. I mean, that's the point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But um, that's at least she has something that makes her happy. Exactly. It's a mountain dew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, there is help if you do know somebody mm -hmm. that is getting addicted or f they're spending more money than they should. You know, you ha you do have to pace yourself on these things. It's it's just just like you would spend some spare change to go see a movie at the movie theater. That's what the lottery's for. It's just an entertainment. That's all it is. And it's an entertainment where you might win some money, and that's the only difference. But um, if you think you need to find some help, the hotline is 877-452-5155. And you can visit our website, playresponsiblysc.com, for additional details. Right. So uh, please do that. Or if you know somebody that needs some help, please do mm -hmm. that too. Hey, I'm Ann Eller. I'm here with Julie Huffman. If you've got a question or a comment, give us a call 229-7984. That's 229-7984. We'll be right back. That's right. We're right back here this afternoon. We are on WCRS right here in Greenwood. Beautiful afternoon today. It is beautiful. Gosh, and uh, good to good that uh, actually usually come in the fall. So isn't mm -hmm. it nice? You're usually you're here in the spring because it'll be light like till eight o'clock. I know. I love that. That's great. And everything's yeah. so pretty and fresh and green. This yes. is the time of year when the green is just vibrant. Yes, and we, we mowed the grass because you were coming today, oh, Julie, you. because it was growing like three inches a night. You and everybody else. I'm like, I rode up 378 here. And everybody's mowing their lawn today. I'm telling you, it's just wild it's how like, fast. Get to my house. Don't do it. <laughs> exactly. But anyways, you know, one of the new programs I think that uh, you were telling me about before we came on the air was about this Lucky for Life. Now, I would like this. What is Lucky for Life? Lucky for Life is a game similar to Powerball and Meg Millions, but instead of a rolling jackpot, what you can win. And also, the odds to win the jackpot for Lucky for Life are better than Meg Millions and Powerball. But the jackpot is, you can win $1,000 a day for life. And the, lo the life starts at 20 years. So it goes up from up 20, to 20 years. years. Mm -hmm. Oh, up to no, 20 years. It starts at 20 years. So we could, at 25 years, I could still be getting this. Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. And so, on. And on. Mm -hmm. So if it starts at 20 years, what happens if you kick the bucket before 20 years? Oh, it keeps on going. You keep it. It, 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 it kind of goes family. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, you set okay. it up in your will. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. Now that's pretty awesome. That is. I mean, that is my type of game. Right. And the drawings are on Mondays and Thursdays, and you can buy that at any lottery retailer. Okay. And how do you find out if you want? Um, you can go to the retailer and have them scan your ticket, or you can go to our website, seeducationlottery.com, and you can look at the numbers for Lucky for Life and check your ticket. And how much do those tickets cost? Um, I'm getting really interested in case you can't tell. I can it. tell. <laughs> Uh, I might get addicted to this one. No, don't you do that. <laughs> no, I uh, think the tickets are two dollars, but so I'm not they're very sure. inexpensive. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, and you do the drawings once a Mondays and Thursdays. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you're doing them all the time, yeah, literally. Continually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So here's in, in what South Carolina. Uh, people really like Lucky for Life in South Carolina. No, we'd like to be lucky for life, Yay! wouldn't we? A thousand dollars a day. That's not mm -hmm. bad. That's not bad. You can. And there uh, are, that's not the only prize. There are lower tier prizes under that. Okay. You mean like a dollar a day? <laughs> <laughs> I was no. just checking, Julie. <laughs> no, I mean like. Uh, but okay. yeah, that that uh, Lucky for Life started up in uh, some New England lottery had it, and they were participating in it, and it just expanded to more. So, and people were liking it. Cool. Okay. All right. So Lucky for Life, that might be one. If you haven't paid attention mm -hmm. to that one, you might like that one. Um, have we got a Powerball or a big one going right now? Um, well, right now the big news is that people need to check their Powerball tickets because we have a Powerball ticket worth $1 million that will be going unclaimed if they don't claim it by 5 o'clock today. Okay. And you have exactly eight minutes. You better and you hustle. have to be in Columbia and turn it in. Yes. So if you're listening in Columbia and you've got the winner, you might make it. And if that does go unclaimed, the, don't worry, the money will go to education. Okay. But when's the next big, big thing that will be happening? Will you be having a big one coming up this summer or, or just uh, all well, the... Well, right now our big promotions are the Trucks and Bucks and the Instant Replay. Okay. And right. uh, with our instant tickets, we're coming out with new instant tickets every month. Um, usually it's four to eight instant tickets. And you can find out information at seeducationlottery.com on those. And all sorts of varying types. Okay. And, and so, um, you know, we see these big, big ones. Are you finding that it's more... Um, more fun, more profitable, and people are enjoying having the smaller gratification? Well, people like, they like the instant tickets. They like to play that. And people are liking that we have um, second chance drawings throughout the year instead of just one big one. And also, we, instead of focusing on just having our wheel spins, major big wheel spins at the South Carolina State Fair, we now have more promotions throughout South Carolina every week. So. You can go to seducationlottery.com and click on our calendar of events and see when a wheel spin event will be happening near you. And those are events where we have a promotional person at a retailer and they have a table and for every $10 worth of lottery tickets you purchase, you can spin a wheel and you'll definitely win a prize like a hat or a t-shirt or something like that. And what's the most you might win? Um, I'm always looking at the big thing, side. <laughs> uh, that we have sometimes, sometimes we have chairs like those uh, foldable, collapsible chairs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have coolers that are really nice, um, tumblers and cups. We all usually have t-shirts, so those are always handy. Wow, mm -hmm. very cool, very cool. All right, well, we're going to have to get you up into this area to do something up here. That would be, uh, that uh, would be fun. Yeah, that, yeah, that would be fun. I used to go out and do the wheel spins all the time, but we might be having some nearby any time. Um, but click on our calendar of events to find out. Cool. All right. Well, listen, we are talking about the lottery here. Now, we talk about that you get sco that scholarship funds help mm -hmm. uh, helps with scholarship funds. Now, how much dollars, do you have any idea over the last year, how many dollars went to help uh, scholarship-wise? How much dollars went out there? Well, uh, in appropriations, since the start of the lottery through this year, the General Assembly has appropriated $2.1 billion, just billion. For, billion for mm -hmm. scholarships and grants. Um, for higher education, they've also appropriated $133 million for technology. And, um, you know, K through 12 education gets money too from the lottery. Um, for what do they get the money for, Julie? For school buses, they get it for technology and teacher training. K through five 
programs in math, reading, science, and social studies gets a lot of support. That's received a loan, $489 million. Um, just out of curiosity, how does the money get divided up? Because, you know, we're always talking about some of our poorer districts mm -hmm. not getting enough money, and yet there is this money. How, how did, do you know how they divide it up? It varies up? each year. Sometimes it's based on population. Um, like for the libraries, some years it's just cut and dry. Each county will get a million. Okay. Uh, some years it will be just based on population. But um, here in Greenwood alone, since the lottery started, They've received nine point five million dollars for K through twelve. The, that's a lot of yeah, dollars. That's a lot just right. from the lottery. And then the county library here has received three hundred and twenty three thousand um, dollars. Over thirty thousand scholarships have been awarded to students just in Greenwood, and that's valued at over forty one million dollars. That's a huge mm -hmm. impact. Huge, huge impact on a community. Yeah. So uh, when you think about uh, what the lottery does, just look at what it does for Greenwood County. And you know, sometimes, sometimes, I don't think that those dollars are really um, broken out like, like you just broke them out mm -hmm. right here. We talk about the dollars that are spent in the district, but we don't say, well, this money came from this, and this, mm -hmm. month came, this money came from here. It's nice to hear how those dollars here, break out. I have to contact a lot of different agencies to get this information together, and everybody's always very helpful and getting me it because they don't expect that I'll be calling up and asking for it. But right. it's, it's nice to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you look at the dollars that come in and you know we think about some of our counties that uh, aren't as, don't have as many businesses or go mm -hmm. tax base and this type coming in, it's good to know that the lottery is out there bringing dollars in. Right, yep. And we had a caller earlier, didn't we, Julie, that said they used to be against the lottery but uh, hearing you talk about the positive things um, he was going to be okay. He may not partake of being part of the lottery, but he does like what he sees and, there. And that's great. That makes me really happy. You don't have to play if you don't want to. It's, it's just a game that's out there, and it benefits education. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think about what if, what if we had a lottery, but it didn't really do a benefit, you mm -hmm. know, the, the positive yeah, side it was of this. It was just all profit. Yeah. But it's for education. Now, one of the other things as we uh, finish up here, um, you, you used to have a couple of gals that came with you, and you said that, you know, they, they just are running very lean down there at the yeah. South Carolina Lottery. We, not, a, not a lot of dollars spent on employees and whatnot. Right, yes. Um, yeah, people, you know, the lottery, we have tried to do everything possible to increase the amount of transfers we make for education. Um, for example, on an average lottery dollar, we're allowed to keep up to $0.08. Cents on every dollar that we make. Currently, we operate on 2.9 per cents. So you have like dollar. three cents. Yeah. yeah. So it's less than half that we operate on. And you on. send the rest of the money to the? Um, the rest of the money, 63 cents on every dollar goes to prizes. Because if people weren't winning, they, they would play. not play. Other lotteries have tried to reduce the amount of winnings so that they can increase tree transfers. And that didn't work because sales went down. Um, our retailers earn around seven cents on every dollar, and then we transfer 26 cents on every dollar to education. Wow. So, I mean, it's not, but the nice thing is that you're not seeing this at uh, 15 or 20 cents right. of mm -hmm. lottery labor for cost for operating. And that, that 2.9 cents, that's everything from the actual tickets to the advertising to delivering employees, to employees everything. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. That is pretty awesome. No wonder she's working so hard and she's exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, you know, Julie, it is such a pleasure to be able to sit down and see you. It's been too long since you've been I here. I know. It's so nice to come and see you in Sharp Facets and everything that's here in Greenwood, too. Absolutely. Well, this is WCRS, and uh, Julie, I sure hope you have a safe trip home. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure coming. All right. You know you're listening to WCRS right here in Greenwood. Yes, I'm Ann Eller. We'll be back in the morning, so you keep it right here on your favorite radio station. That's WCRS. Bye-bye, everybody.